On today's episode of The Story Detective, we are going to be unboxing Elritron's Pen-A-Red keyboard. It's retro, it's sexy, it's red, and matches my desk. And yet, should you judge a keyboard by its cover? If you're even considering buying one of these, you need to watch this video. Elritron is an Asian-based company that first started putting out these keyboards through a crowdfunding site called Indiegogo. When I first saw these keyboards, I immediately wanted one because it had that retro typewriter look. When I tried to look up videos online, there was really only a handful of them. They gave the basic unboxing, they didn't really show the setup or give any information about them. Cut to this Christmas when they came out with their limited red edition. So I decided to pull the trigger. This time they were on Kickstarter. They had an early bird price of $159. They usually go for, I think, around $200. You can buy them on Amazon for $209. It shipped just prior to Christmas, so it was going to be a Christmas present for myself. I waited until Christmas to open it up, and then basically what happened was the following. New keyboard, get to check it out. Been waiting for this one for a while. Let's see. Typical quick start information. And look at that. That looks so cool. Got some batteries. Let's check this out. What is that? What the hell? Holy shit. This thing's falling apart. So two or three days later, I contacted Elritron and the only contact I had was their Kickstarter message board. So I messaged that it wasn't working and uh, it wasn't pairing with my iPad. I got a message back by the end of the day saying that a technician would be contacting me, and they did through email. All of these emails, by the way, I copied and pasted on the Kickstarter site where they have their comments, and they've since been deleted, except for the couple where I made the initial inquiries and said, the keyboard's not working, can you advise? So after that, I got an email from a guy named Jack. This is Dear Robert Jones. Hello, I am Jack in charge of tech support. Thanks for supporting us. Could you please tell me which steps you have trouble with? And he went through the basic steps that are on the instructions. The same thing that tells you how to pair the keyboard. And I did that multiple times and I tried it again just for the heck of it. I step by step followed his instructions and I got the same results and I wrote them back. So days go by, and after I heard nothing after telling him what happened when I pressed each of the buttons he told me to press, nothing. So six days later, I went back to their comment section, and I wrote again, and I said, your technician did contact me by email last Sunday with a few questions and things to try. I wrote back and gave him my responses, which really didn't work. I have not heard back from him after that. I figured it was a busy time of the year, so I would wait until after the new year, but I've heard nothing over the past week. Can you replace the faulty keyboard? I also found other contact emails for Elritron, the company itself, and I cut and pasted everything so far into an email or a comment section on their website, and I sent it to at least three or four different people. So then after that, I get an email that says, Dear Robert, we replied to your email on December 31st, but it seems you didn't receive it. <laughs> really sorry for the inconvenience. Yes, the red light comes on for three seconds when the keyboard is turned on. Your pen and keyboard works well. Could you please check the Windows iOS switch? Please put it in iOS and try again. Does he actually think that I didn't flick it back and forth between Windows and iOS? I tried both and neither one worked. So by now figuring that they're just kind of 
yanking my chain, I wrote back and said, Hello, Jack. It seems you didn't receive my two responses either. They are both pasted below. I have the keyboard set to iOS because I have an iPad. I understand how it's supposed to work when it's paired. In fact, I've tried several times, but it will not pair in iOS mode. Also, there's something loose and rattling around inside the keyboard. Not sure if something broke in shipping. And the silver tray that holds the iPad is completely loose. All of this is in the responses I pasted below, as you may have to look at the original correspondence I sent you. At this point, I do not feel confident in keeping a keyboard that was falling apart when it arrived. Who knows what's rattling around inside of it? And how is it supposed to hold my iPad securely when the tray falls out if I tip the keyboard or it gets jostled? I was hoping to simply get the keyboard replaced, but I'm also losing confidence in this situation because it doesn't seem like there's going to be any reasonable resolution. So he writes back again. Dear Robert, did you check the key layout in iOS mode? The FN key is in the far left, and he sends me a picture. If you press the same key in Windows mode, you're pressing CTRL, not FN. So basically he's telling me the keyboard layout is different in iOS, which I do understand. And I did try to press what would normally be the iOS key, since these are Windows keys, and nothing. So a couple of days later, since I was busy with everything going on, I wrote him back again. And I said, sorry, I wasn't able to, to get back to you for a couple of days because I just had surgery, as most of you will recall, and I've been in recovery. I also wanted to buy fresh batteries and retest the keyboard to be sure this was not something as simple as the batteries getting low. However, with the new batteries, I'm getting the same results. The keyboard will not pair in either iOS or Windows mode. I tried both and took some pictures so you could better understand the issue. When I attempt to pair the computer in either mode, it looks as if the signal is being picked up. The window pops up in Bluetooth on my iPad, just as it should. Here's the first photo, and I showed that it was registering on the iPad, the, the pen of one that I was clicking on, and then I sent him the other photo of the message that I was getting. Okay, so connecting this, you can see right away that it shows up on the device. But when I try to connect, I get this message every time. And I've tried it on both my large and small iPad, and I get the same message again and again and again. His response, Dear Robert, Thanks for your photos. It is not the product that's defective. If you reset the pen and keyboard properly, it will work properly. Could you please erase the Bluetooth connection from your device and penna and reconnect it again? <laughs> please try the below step after turning off all devices Bluetooth function. Please erase Bluetooth record from penna by pressing F and B and C. Please check if five LEDs turn on when blinking. They didn't. Please erase Bluetooth record from your device. Please reconnect Bluetooth. It all had the same results and the five lights didn't come on. Hi Jack, I have tried several times to erase Penna from my iPad, but haven't tried resetting the keyboard as you suggested. So I tried it and it still doesn't work. I got the same message again. Also, the five lights didn't come on. The only light showing is the one in the photo. After this, anybody would be saying <laughs> some choice four-letter words to this guy. I also knew that I was going to be making a video, and I thought, let's see how far they're willing to go, because give them enough rope, they're either going to get tired of me and replace the keyboard, or they're going to hang themselves. So I decided, not being an expert repair person, to call the expert repair people. So I called my local electronic shop and I explained everything to them. And they said, if it's showing up here on my device, that means my device is fine and it's registering it. The problem is with the keyboard itself. So Jack isn't giving me exact honest information. So his response after that, dear Robert, could you please send me a short video of the issue? If we can see it, we can support you better. So after that, I said, Dear Jack, this is ridiculous. Pairing a Bluetooth keyboard is not a complicated task. I have repeatedly followed all of your directions and used my knowledge and experience in pairing various Bluetooth keyboards to Bluetooth devices. This device simply is not functioning. We have been discussing this for several weeks, and it has been weeks that went by since the surgery and the initial email started. This is now dated January 20th, and we started like the third week or the fourth week of December. 
So I said, please offer a real resolution. Dear Robert, really sorry for all the inconvenience. Sure you are. <laughs> we know what you're saying. We checked your photos and found that Pena X was detected on your device, which means the Pena keyboard transfer of the Bluetooth signal is working properly. We think there are some errors on the connection between device and pen a keyboard. So if we can see it, we can support you better. I'm asking for your cooperation. <laughs> Regards, Jack. Then I said, Jack, I've tried to connect on other devices, my phone and other tablets, and it still doesn't work. And I got the same message that it needed to be turned on and in range to pair. So based on what you're telling me, the keyboard is working fine, but none of my devices are working properly. Then why does every other Bluetooth keyboard I have connect with my devices effortlessly? Also, you have not addressed the other problems of the keyboard arriving with a broken tray and pieces loose rattling around inside. How can you expect me to trust a broken keyboard that has failed every test I've put it through? Why should I keep a keyboard that arrived in a condition that was not as promised? And how can I trust a company that I've paid money to and doesn't want to stand behind their product or the promise of delivering the rewards to their backers? You're asking a lot at this point almost a month later. Would you gladly keep a broken device and keep wasting your time after several weeks with a company who has not been able to help you or listen to reason? Please don't bother writing me further. We have nothing else to discuss in this matter. At which point I decided to write Kickstarter. Now, Kickstarter doesn't keep the money and they don't give refunds. Once the project is funded, they just forward all the money to the company. They told me that they were sorry that they were not keeping their promise, that they urge everyone to at least follow through as best they can to meet the promises with the people who are their backers. And they haven't done so, but there was nothing that they could essentially do at that point. I did get another email from Jack after that. And it says, Dear Robert, we have lots of experience of pen and keyboard problems around the world. We can exchange it whenever you want. <laughs> However, if the problem is connection defect, not a pen and keyboard, the problem can't be solved even if we exchange the product. I hope you understand it. These problems occur when you try to connect or reset Pena incorrectly. What is there to reset? This, is <laughs> this isn't rocket science. We just want to check the current connection status. That's why we're asking you for a video. We will support your case as soon as possible. We're not trying to avoid our, we're not trying to avoid our responsibility. Regards, Jack. <laughs> so I said, Jack, I've wanted to exchange it from the start. I have mentioned a replacement repeatedly along with the other defects, the loose pieces rattling inside the unit, the tablet tray that was loose in the box and were apparent upon arrival. This keyboard was damaged when it arrived and I have mentioned this in every email. No one is going to be willing to accept this keyboard in its current condition. Even one of these problems would cause a customer to return it, but to have three separate issues is just unacceptable. However, if you feel a replacement unit might have the same problems, perhaps a refund would be best. Now this is telling me that he thinks it's a connection problem and they have this experience around the world. His next email was sort of telling. Dear Robert, to exchange the product, we need to check if the product is defective or not. Could you please send me the video of the rattling part and loose tablet tray? We will pay the shipping cost if the product is defective. We need to check it before exchanging it. And for connection, we need to check it. As you know, <laughs> as you know, making a video doesn't take that long. We don't want high resolution video. We just want to check current issues to help you as much as we can. All customers who want to get support from us sent the video and we help them rapidly. <laughs> as soon as we check the video, regards Jack. Now, if everybody sends a video, why didn't he tell me to send a video that that was the process from the beginning? At this point, things had gone far and beyond being ridiculous. I contacted my credit card company and I filed a claim and they returned the money. In conclusion, I talked with the people at the local electronics repair shop. They told me they do give free estimates and they would open it up 
take a look at what's in there and at least let me know if it was worth fixing. Since I did get my money back, I'm probably going to do that. They suspect that maybe what's happening, if they have some cheap alternative to save money that's not connecting with every device, they probably know this. It may or may not connect with your device. At least this is what they're suspecting. I don't have complete evidence to back that up, but once I take it down to the shop, and they tell me what's inside it, I can make a response video. That's what I have for you today. Elritron Pena keyboard, two thumbs down. This was a total disappointment. What did they think that they're dealing with complete idiots who are going to just sit there and say, oh my gosh, the keyboard's working fine. <laughs> he says so, it's like a Jedi mind trick. <laughs> These. <laughs> Your keyboard is working fine. These are not the problems you think they are. <laughs> don't buy this keyboard and don't support their Kickstarter or their Indiegogo plan. It's just ridiculous. So until next time, I hope you have better luck keeping your keyboards clacking. This one is not clacking at all.